Welcome to the PartyPoker.net European Open Four. Last time, Steady may have won the race, but tonight, with a former champion and true British poker superstar, in Ian Fraser sitting down, players will need to cut like a knife in order to secure victory and their seat at the semi-final table. So let's see who beats once and who gulps twice. It's fun being a poker player. I, uh, I worked for more than 20 years uh, in the financial sector um, and this is obviously a total change of lifestyle for me, um, but so far I'm really enjoying it. I don't envy those people that do it professionally because it's very difficult. I only play poker for fun anyway, so I'm not a professional poker player and you know, just do it for enjoyment. For me, this event is top of the list, you know, it's very, very important. Um, I've been a bit edgy all morning. I won this before, and uh, I remember it vividly. I, I was heads up with Dave Colclough, who I think is a fantastic player. Uh, I managed to, to box him off and uh, win it, and it, I, I just remember it was a fantastic feeling, and to go and do it again, you know, it was sort of uh, really nice for me, so, yeah, looking forward to this. I know. Ian Fraser quite well, I know Rob Cooper very well. To be honest with you, I've got to tighten my game up today because they know my game and if I go out there and play the, the way I usually play, a little bit loose, that I'm going to get caught quite quickly, so it's a bit tighter today. I think the chances of winning are probably as good as anybody else on the time at the moment. I can't really comment on my form 12 months layoff. Uh, going to the table today with one hell of a serious hangover, um, but being a landlord, I suppose that comes with it. So um, let's go and have some fun. To be a poker player, it's fun. Um, it's good to be able to win plenty of money, which I never do, but some people do. Uh, but I've got the pleasure of losing a lot of money and a lot of tournaments. But now and again I get lucky, so basically fun. 600,000 in play on this table, 100,000 a piece, yellow's worth a thousand, blues are two, red's 5k each. Must win them all to guarantee that seat to the semis, though the runner-up goes to the turbos. Cards about to come out of the shoot, and uh, obviously Greekfish, yeah, I mean, you make Ian Fraser the, the favorite any time he sits down, but I'm not sure if this table matches up so well with him. He's super aggressive, and he's got some pretty aggressive players on his left, and Nathan Lee and Graham Smith. Well, I, I think we're going to see different styles here. I mean, I mean, look at this, Ian Fraser, first day of ice. Raised to 7,000 Okay, maybe he is the favorite. Don't start on A little bit surprised here if Nathan Lee plays this, because um, he's usually very tight at the start. Graham Smith's found a pair of fives here. And, uh, we raised to 14. I mean, it looks a bit suicidal for the machine, but, you know, Pass. Fraser is kind of a fast Pass. starter, so guys will be expecting him not to have something here. Well, he's making a statement raising with the fives. He call. wants to win the first part, and he won't like the call. What flop can he uh, hope to see? What helps him apart, you know, with having a five on there? Fraser, slow play in this. You like this? Oh, yes. Right way to play this. And that's a great flop for Smith here. 18,000. Wow. That's an interesting uh, line Ian's taken here to lead out. I mean... Uh, He's just saved himself here. I, I, I wonder. Well, he, he can't come what, over. What, what could Ian have raised with before the up, up front that uh, has hit him? Well, he's just, he's just said to Graham that he, he's, he had a big power. And um, that's how it looks. If, you, if you're sitting in Graham Smith's pl uh, seat now, it looks like, you know, the guy's got a huge power. Where if, if Ian checked, then Graham would have definitely bet the flop and Ian would have got more money out of him. Pass. And that's the correct play. Smith has laid him down. And uh, Fraser's done him a very big favor by betting now. First pot, bullets. <coughs> Ian Fraser feeling like it's his night. Yeah, and uh, if it wasn't the first hand, he would have slow played that little more, I feel. Early on. And I've played quite a few TV tournaments now. I mean, you can be active. Um, throughout really and, and that's I think that's the, the bit that I like you know because I can I do find myself getting bored 
and uh, I start wandering, my head goes here, and you know, and I'm thinking of other things. But these TV events, uh, it keeps you on the button, and uh, I love it. Yeah. Button is on Cooper. RC. And uh, Smith with the action. Yeah, the Ace 2 looks terrible in early position. Raised to 6,000 total. That's a nice raise by John there. Pass. Yeah, actually, it's not too much. much. Right. It's, it's not too much to scare people, Jesse, but it's enough to get a Pass. little bit of action, get one <coughs> or two players in. That's all you want because obviously he doesn't want to see an Ace of King on the flop. Look how it is, uh, Greg Fish. Your first time, when you're playing in, in this sort of a format for your first oh. time, you're always facing a little bit of an uphill battle. But if you catch a couple of good cards and flops in the right spot, like that's all a good poker player needs. That's exactly right. And what interests me here is the Ace-9, Nathan Lee calling. Um, usually, you wouldn't call. He's, he's quite tight than that at the start. But, I mean, look at this, Jesse. We're going to have fireworks here. Flopped flush for Cooper. Top pair for Lee. And the pocket coins with the second nut flush draw. Yeah, this is a decision time for uh, Exley. What are you thinking right now if you're him? I mean, uh, what different options about how to play this. Well, Exley could get away, but if it's a small bit, I mean, what was the size? Six, 6,000. I, th I think he calls, yeah. I think he calls. Call. It is the second nut flush draw, but the possibility of the king being out there. Raise to 12. And a minimum raise from Cooper. That stinks. That absolutely terrifies me. But the good thing here is Nathan Lee could just shut up shop. He's got a bad ace anyway, and he's got no spades, so he's out of the equation. And Exley, I'm afraid he's going to have to fold here. He knows his coins are no good, and he might be drawing dead. You can see Nathan Lee he's shaking his head. He, he, he knows it's either an informational raise or what Cooper has, which is a monster hoping to get to. If, if Cooper had 3-4 offsuit here, it makes no difference at all. Lee has got to fold. There's not even a, a debate about this. There should be skid marks on the felt where he's folded so quick. It's too dangerous a board for Cooper Pass. to make a minimum raise there without a monster. Correct. And now uh, he, he's sort of priced Exley in here. Now what Exley's got to ask himself, is my spade going to be any good if I hit it? And that's the decision he's got to make now. In and I understand yeah. the fault. I understand. He the doesn't fold. want to see a spade and then have to call a big bet. Correct. And, and yeah. the reason oh, why Rob uh, made one. that bet originally, the minimum re-raise, is just to take it there and then. Because if another spade he comes, he knows that he hasn't got the best possible hand on the board and he could end up losing. <laughs> so yeah, Rob would be absolutely now, delighted right, with that. Flop, <laughs> flush, Rob, <laughs> Cooper. And can I just say, good play all round there. Good fold by the coins. Good fold by the ace nine. Well, you know, this is, I think, Cole. this is uh, Ian Fraser's. It, it, it's it's kind of one of his, his favorite tournament because this is where it all began Pass. for him. You yeah. know, I, I, I think the European Open was Cole. his first title. Well, um, it was yeah, either the European Open or the UK Open or the World Open. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he won them back to back, Jesse, so we, uh, we won't, we won't criticise there. But I can tell you, his uh, trophy room at home, he's, you know, he's got his checks all over the place, you know? <laughs> And he's very, very proud of them as well. He's, uh, he's limped in here with ace-10. Yeah, he's mixing his game up. Raisable Check. hand, and he's limped in trying to Check. trap. Now, will he Check. bet? Will actually bet with the uh, the middle pair on the turn? I think, it, well, I don't think he should bet now. Check. Great play. Someone's got to have a shot at this Check. now. Check. Wow. Well, John can count himself very unlucky. I think that was the absolute perfect play. And of course, the terrifying scare card hits the river. Now there's a flush out there. There's a straight out there. So now he has a little 6, bit. Pass. How much you got left? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and and the, the scary thing is, Come actually, on. couldn't call. He couldn't call, Jess. He couldn't call, Jess. There's too many outside there will beat him, but uh, Fraser just yeah. letting him know he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> but John's going to be feeling good now. I feel pretty good, pretty confident. I've, I've played one or two of people who's, who's entered competition before. It's a good structure, um, different, different to what I'm used to playing. Uh, short tables, like just six on a table. But uh, I'm up in other well.
Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net European so Open 4. <laughs> cool. Over and out. We've seen Queens a couple times and uh, yeah, the ladies are out in force today. Limping in is Cooper. He loves tracks. Cool. Yeah, but if someone knows his game, then, you know, cool. they, they know what he's up to. Let's put it that way. He's done it cool. too many times in previous tournaments, and he's, he's sticking Not by cool, his strategy. Yeah. Any raise? Raise 15,000 more. It's a big raise. It's Second time else raised for the blinds, and he's got the, the big in. slick. He's moved all in, Jess. Yeah. That put the thinking out of that one, didn't it? Now, that is why he's looked oh, into the brain pot. damage doing? <laughs> Can't see how I can pass. Get him in then. So we know that uh, everyone's passing. It's just whether Alice wants to take the, the coin. Learn, I won't send you it, it, It's interesting. Yes. I mean, uh, well, the thing is, what you're saying to yourself, yes. do you want to win this yes. tournament? Because um, if he puts the guy on coins or less and he's got ice king, then he knows he's in, you know, he's up for a race. Does he want to take the race on, or does he feel he's good enough to play his way back into this? Because after all, he's only lost 15,000 chips. Greg Fisher, because of the way Cooper has played this hand, the fact that he has could have kings or aces, I mean, it's a, it's a real possibility. Of course, it? and I, I think there's only one move, you know, in, in um, Ellis's seat here, and that's to pass, because he could be in months of trouble. If he knows he's got queens, then, you know, it's a very strong possibility that he calls. It's just a move. You are the TP UK champion, aren't you? That's right. <laughs> and you don't you tell to me. be champion. That may not help me today. To fold the hand. I like that Ellis is thinking about this. It's not automatic, is it? No, he's passing. Colin Ockel. Oh, cool. oh wow. dear, mate. Wow. As you can see, my commentary yeah, spot on there. Somewhere. I guess, uh, I mean, uh, Ellis I must have, uh, have reviewed in, in his mind all the hands Cooper could have done this with and thought... Uh, well, he got to tell. Yeah. He's, he's sat there, he listens to him, and he, you know, he's, he's, he's made his decision. <laughs> it shows that he's come here to win. He ain't come here to, you know, come second or, you know, get airtime. Yeah, possibly the format had something to do with it. Ellis, uh, obviously the winner of this pot, Greek Fish, is going to be the first guy over 200,000. It's a biggie. And uh, Queen's looking good. And Rob's sitting there crossing his fingers, his legs, and everything else he can, and uh, prying not to see an ice or a king. There's nothing in this one. As far as uh, covering, I think these play. Oh! You know, also, <laughs> the queen the but you would, wouldn't I? Was I? Just but say yeah, with the king any spade, spade any ten, and probably. Uh, and um, he's yeah, going to get pros. He's still got plenty of outs. Yeah. He's got more he's outs on the, now outs. than he had on the turn on the flop. Did he? Yeah, yeah, he's he's got four to one is he? Oh, and he's wow. hit the spade. Yeah, Oh, Rob. <laughs> I do believe Rob Cooper will have, uh, will say, that's the way it's been happening to me. And this is what's been happening to him for a few tournaments now. <laughs> and it's always on that dirty river, isn't it? I mean, if you're Ellis right now, you can say, of course I hit it on the river. Cool, yeah. I'm the GB UK cool, champion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be called a few other things, I can tell you. <laughs> that was a sick hand, uh, wasn't it? Can't believe you pulled with those kings. Yeah, I'm glad you agree, Fraser. And uh, we're going to have to say <laughs> bye to Rob here. Yeah, I think. Uh, and Rob Cooper's played really well. He's, uh, he's unlucky, you know. He's just one of those things. There's nothing you could do. Ellis covers him by a farthing. It, uh, you look at that hand one more time, Greg Fish. I mean, it, it was a surprising call. It was a gutsy call, but in the end of the day, it was the right call. Well, it's a statement of intent. As I said to you, if you put him on coins or less, then he had every reason to call. But being a champion of um, the GP UK event, I just thought he would, you know, he had enough about him to fold it. But as you can see, he's made the flush there very luckily on the river. And uh, we say bye to Rob Cooper. Yeah. Obviously not the singer. I was. It's fine. It's fine. That's why I'm not <laughs> Yeah, <good>. exactly. <laughs> it's an open league. You can have it's a little squeeze up there. Equipment, so they had to let me sing. <laughs> Plus, plus. A lull has fallen cool. over the crowd. Why and, not? Uh, no interesting there to see actually. Like didn't even fella. consider rising the blinds. Well, like, this is actually the, uh, I think it's the first time these guys are playing a pot together. Beams yeah, and they've been playing very cautiously. Neither wants to give chips middle, to the other. Well, could double up. Well, talking's free and Fraser's doing plenty of it. You got any of that? Cool piece of the flop there. Both. 
Check. Same pair for both I've got about 4,000 worth of it. 4,000. Cool. Seems reasonable. Instant call. Instant call. Would Ellis have played a king this Check. way? It's possible. But Fraser's just going to ask him. He's been called the first time. I think he checks out. 12,000. Well, it's a gutsy, gutsy bet by Fraser. Cool. And he's been called again. Now, surely he's got to think uh, his nine's got kicker problems, or maybe he's run into two pair, or possibly a king. And that's cruel. Check. One pair, two pair. Inter river card, yeah. Jesse. Second yes. pair on the river for Ellis. Notice this, though. Trouble. The money went in when he was ahead, and when, as soon as he was behind, the chip went in again. It's a nice bet on the turn there, and uh, mm. I wonder what would have happened on the river if the 10 hadn't come. Severe. Well, but it must uh, be check, check, surely. Ellis takes it down with the tuper. Round one to Mike Ellis. Yeah, he must be sitting there feeling very chuffed. His chip lead, that's 139,000 stack. He'd be over the moon at the moment. But as we know, Jesse, these things change so quickly. And, you know, someone like Graham Smith or John Exley, a couple of wins, a couple of pots, they're back in and they're flying. Plus. 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 Blind on blind here. Yeah, I, I think, cool. you know, Fraser's never going to fold like that. Even Lee is a... Uh Okay. Up for yourself and today, though, Jesse. You say. He's, he's radiating a, a very good aura today. He seems to be in a very positive frame of mind. You just feel like he's oh, giving it his best shot today. A great time, Lee. And he's, he's caught a five Check. there. Check. He's just checked. Fives don't look very good um, on any sort of ball, do they? Check. And now he's given the draw Four to thousand. Fraser. Ian's betted. Uh, yeah, he's cool. given himself two chances of winning the pot that way. Don't river sure. me again. If he hits the no, river, don't need river. <laughs> <laughs> which got, a, got a lot of cards to hit on this river. Oh, he's got any ten jack, seven. Oh, he's missed anyway. He respected, but now will he represent? Or will he wipe his mouth and? Uh, Fourteen thousand. I wonder That's if uh, a a big can, bet. I, think, I wonder if he might be able to find a call here. I mean, oh, uh, I don't think so. how should he think through this hand backwards? Could it be a nine? He's Could it be an eight? He's bet the turn. If he's bet the turn, that means he's betting an eight or he's betting a nine possibly. Um, he yeah, could have the draw, idea, yeah. but at the end of the day, you know, why would he bet? He'd be happy to check Aye. if he had a nine only, you see. It looks like a bluff, doesn't it? I've got an open good call. And Fraser can't win the pot unless he bets, so uh, what can he beat? Nathan Lee is sitting there now thinking, what can I beat? And it, to be quite honest, he could only beat a bluff, so... Hmm. Pair of fives. I I'd make the same bet with a pair of fives. I think he's going to work this out. Yeah, I've got a pair of fives. <laughs> I, I think um, Nathan may work it out, but I think for him to find a call is very, very difficult. Fraser's bet the turn. He's bet the eight. The eight hits the river. What can he be beating, Nathan Lee? Although we can see the cards. I mean, if you're sitting in his seat, you could easily fold. And I, I honestly don't blame him. You got it right, Greg Fish. 8-10. Fraser Good. got the bet through. You, you could play like a monkey if you're going to be lucky. Then you're going to win at the end of the day. And uh, fortunately for him, he's playing really well on top of having some nice cards Price and being lucky. 15,000 total. And Ian Fraser finds pocket 10 for the second time, I believe, in this tournament. And John Exley can make a stand there, Jess. Come on. And he has, he's pushed, he's all in. He's go all a bit in. unfortunate for yeah, Exley, isn't he's it? He's getting called as well. I mean, there's not enough in the middle for Fraser to fold, really. It's a very reasonable kind of uh, play from John, isn't it? Well, if you listen to Fraser, he'll call his hand out. Cool. Cards out then, please. He is the director of the UK Pub Poker oh. League, John so Exley, but if the seven don't come, Greek Fish, it's back to the pub. Yeah, he's a massive dog at the moment, and to be honest with you, I don't think he's done nothing wrong all tournament. Hopefully, I don't need to know that. Eight statues off that one. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. yeah. Good pump. 
Oh, well, there's still possibilities there. You could he catch another running card for a strike draw here. No, not when he had a point. He showed Actually, the he's been involved in uh, uh, a couple of it, critical it? pots tonight. Uh, none of them have gone his way. This one does not look like. Well, the turn's surely going to bring him straight possibilities or something. Well, no, it doesn't, in fact. And he's drawing down now yeah. to two sevens two in the sevens. deck. And, uh... Oh, my. Barnsley yeah, bound, full house, no good. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah, although, uh, he's, he, we've just lost uh, John. I, I think I'm he's quite good. Really well. I think he's done nothing wrong at all. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Good character, yeah. honest John. Six of Parrot for leaving uh, so early. Um, had some... Had some Decent hands, but every time I got a decent hand, I think I either got outplayed or I were I beat my hand. Well, Graham the machine uh, on the button is handed. He's looking very you know, much to me six. like a man who's kind of uh, <laughs> in the old money trigger. You know, yeah, but what uh, he's, he's, he's the dark horse. I, I like the way he's played so far. Let's not forget, he's not had nothing really. I mean, the one hand he actually did have, he, you know, he lost with. But um, a race. Race. See, this is Nathan drawing his line in the sand, Jesse. I'm not going to sit here blind away. I'm going to play my pair of fours, and I'm going to be first in the pot with him raising. He, he's got 80,000. 14,000 uh, more. And he's stuck in a quarter of his stack. Well, he wants Pass. to take the blinds with no action. But if someone re raises, it's a Pass. very easy fold for him. And you see, Fraser here could do any of, any of the three things. He could fold, he could call, he could put them all in. We've already seen Fraser fold ace jack to a raise before the flop. This Not is different, this though, isn't it? Not this time. Now he's got the stack. I think he's going to call off here and see where he is. What he's doing now is sizing up uh, his opponent's hand. He's trying to put um, Nathan Lee on a particular hand. And if he puts him on a pocket power, then he's got every reason to call and see where he is on the flop. If he puts him on a lower ace, I guess he should just push it. Correct. Well, what can he raise, you know, under the gun with? That's what he's thinking. Perfect. He's going to call. Call. I think he might be playing a little stop and go here. I mean, Lee certainly would have raised with a lot of aces that ace jack beats, of course, right? I, I think Fraser's thought this through. I think he's played that perfectly. Let's see what the flop brings he's saying, and we go from there. Now, if you're in Nathan's shoes now, what a terrifying Check. flop. <laughs> That's a very good Now, flop. Th this, this is a hit. 14,000. Fantastic. It gets through as well. It must get through because Fraser's got no club in his hand. He's missed the flop. And that is good play by both of them. Hmm? It went round you. What guts it took to open to pull that trigger then, but he, he done it and it's, it's got through. But any, and more players there, Jesse, would in. have re-raised all in with the ace jack. Huh? He'd got a call. Yeah, I fancy I would have. I was weighing up the. 103,000 for Nathan um, Lee. Those were not an easy 20,000 to pick up. He had to sweat for them. He's had things go his way so far, Mike Ellis. He's creating his table image. No one's seen him turn over a bad hand yet. And um, they're all terrified of him. Yeah, and, and Mike Ellis there, he, raise he hasn't had to raise total. really with Pass. any bad hands because he's getting the good hands in, in, in the right number of frequencies, so he doesn't Pass. have to pull that trick out of his book yet, does he? Yeah, and let's not forget, he's got lucky against Rob Cooper. If Rob Cooper won that oh. pot with the coins, a crucial part then um, he's not even here. Raised to 15,000 from Fraser. Not a huge raise, and Ellis has called from the big blind with the face cards. Now, the problem Fraser's going to have here is it's very unlikely he hits the four, and there will be over cards. And um, Check. this is actually a good flop for Fraser. Check. Is he checking? What now? Well, I think he's got a bet. I mean, Ellis might find uh, that Check. he'd rather bet than have to call. Yeah, He's got a straight draw. I think Fraser has to have a go at it now. 10,000. It's a really cool. small bet. No. Is Ian playing this very timidly? Yeah, he is now. Well, now he's been called. He's, um, he's not going to put nothing more into the pot unless a four comes. We still got the best hand. Fraser's got the best hand, but I don't think he could know that at the moment, to be honest. And he'd be delighted with a check, I think. Well, saying that, if it's checked to him, he might even have a stab it because he can't think he's winning. That's a great 20, bet. Oh, that's, a, that's a fantastic bet. 
and it's absolutely physically impossible for Fraser to call this now. He cannot beat nothing. He cannot beat any straight, any flush, any power on board. He cannot beat a sausage. So, uh, okay. that goes in the bin. What was the key to that for Ellis? Did uh... The call on the turn, uh, it told Fraser that he had something when he obviously didn't. He was on the draw, but it told Fraser that he had uh, a bigger hand than what he did have. And um, he just couldn't beat nothing. I mean, that was actually good play by uh, Mike Ellis. My form's pretty good at the moment. I mean, last year um, I was more concentrating on cash games than tournaments, but uh, at the end of t the year, in December, I won a, a big tournament, uh, at the, the grand final of the Grosvenor UK Poker Tour, uh, which is worth over £200,000. So that was um, my biggest achievement so far in poker. As, as far as Fraser and Ellis <coughs> are concerned right now, Greenfish, it's actually all going perfect because what they want to do is to whittle uh, Smith and Lee away as much as possible before they take their stands. That's exactly what they're trying to do because when yes. they go all in, they can have a free shot at them. I mean, uh, particularly the chip leader, Ellis. I mean, they're all going. All in. Wow. And uh, oh, Lee's drawn his tough. line <laughs> in the sand. You can understand why. And oh, oh yeah. he's going to get pulled. Graham's got to call it. would anyway, wouldn't he? He's got him in. Too, too much of a chance, uh, yeah, it's, it's, Greg it's, Fish, that, that Lee has an undercard here, huh? Well, it's, it's not the under. He's going to put him on an ace. Any yeah, form of ace, ace, ace five, ace six, up, yeah. you know, he would have made the same play. And to I be honest with you, if you're sitting in Smith's seat, you ain't had a good hand for ages. I know. All right. All in. Don't worry about this one. Quaint. Well, it's come down no, to a race between the two short stacks. Two yeah. halves will make a hole here. Yeah, but whoever wins it is back in the game big style. Close. Graham Smith actually covers Lee by, uh, oh, I don't know, 15, 20,000 or so. Not much well, what's interesting, uh, Smith actually called out. you got the <laughs> He's obviously put on an ice rake, but as it turns out, you know, Lee would be delighted. Well, I really personally would like to see a split pot. <laughs> I don't quite know how that's going to work, but... Don't Ooh, lie, Fraser. Yeah. Gonna straighten the board, mm -hmm. Five cards of fate and... Uh, Come on, the split pot. Well, the way things are going, you've got a fancy note that he's going to hit there. Good luck, mate. You don't need it. Look at him. Shake hands. Good luck. There's the ten. There's the seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> Come on, the split pot. Get an oh, eight Oh, the there. door card was Lee's. Well, I'll tell you the what. The clunker was Graham Smith. Smith's gone a little bit redder. Is I, it really that hot in there, or has he just got a suntan, or is he flushed? I mean, look at that. Well, he's got a better chance of hitting a backdoor straight eight, than a backdoor house. Well, the, the turn will probably provide eight, one eight, more eight. about for a straight, but... Um, eight first, then a nine. You've got to say, like you know, ball. well, nice that's there, gone, uh, yeah. Trip seven, so, uh, the seven's yeah. hold, it's not a straight. and um, all of a sudden, he's been rewarded for his patient play, and he's, he's oh, a yeah, good play well also. I think you've got me covered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nathan Lee, oh, always a pleasure like to see like him on the table. Yeah, uh, very like dry, like, like a desert for him tonight. Well, I don't yeah. think anyone well done, sitting like. in his chair would have played, done any better yeah, than him, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think he'd done nothing. Like like he made moves to stay in the game, and it was just not his day. But what's new for Nathan Lee? It always seems to be the same. A straight race once Graham Smith called, and Lee loved the 10, but the 7 was uh, three bingos there for the machine, the slot machine. I'm not too disappointed because I was absolutely carved there. It was, it's just one of them games you go and play and you just don't get an hand and you can't make a move with anything. And each time I did make a move, someone re-raised, so it's very difficult um, when you're carved dead like that. Mike and Ian are getting big hands nearly every other hand, so it's hard to play against. Three left and the split showing Ellis way in front uh, and Fraser's got twice as many as Smith. Yeah, anyone's game at the moment. Um, Ellis obviously got to be a big favourite, but uh, Price does one double up his chip leader with over half the chips in play. I mean, a bubble of sorts now, Greekfish, as the blinds go to five and ten thousand, because obviously top two guarantees you a spot in the turbos. Is that going to affect anybody's decisions here? Uh, it depends on what level you're playing with. These three experienced players were, uh, you know, not short of a few quid. I don't think it affects anything, but, um, you know, they're all ready to, uh, to try and win it. Yeah. It's Price, something, the turbos, but uh, you don't want to bank on it because it's, it's a tough way to get through as it's well. A, well, yeah. you're going you're gonna to face five other runner-ups, so they're all capable of playing, and it's, it's, it's a lot more difficult to win one of them than this. So, um, well, this is interesting. Graham Smith not messing around, free-handed. He knows his king nine's probably good. He's made it a total of 25,000, 10 plus 15. And yeah. 
Fries is just letting him know that he's not going to stand for this. He can't do nothing about it, really. But he's just letting him know that, you know, if you carry on doing this, son, you know, I'm going to come back over. So this, this is this is complete posing. This is just an act. He's going to throw his hand away. If he re-raises, he's going to get called, and he knows he's going to get called. If he calls, what's he calling with 694? So what he's doing is just letting him know that he's, you know, don't try and do that again. It'd be interesting oh, no, to he's see. got the blues. Oh, dear. <laughs> I've got to see Graham Smith's face here. He is. A, oh, he has. No, wow. We raised to 50,000 total. Oh, that's world class. More? That is world class, Jess. How does he know? How does he know, Jess? That is superb. It's 25,000 more. Well, if you're sitting in Graham Smith's seat now, you're running against Ace of Kings, aren't you? You're playing a massive hand there. I'd, I'd never see this one. Fraser's, that's unbelievable. What has that he is. picked up here? He's obviously picked something we haven't. I mean, he's got a read on Graham, and that's that's an incredible raise for someone who's short stacked, and, you know, I, I, it, it would terrify me. King nine is one of the worst hands that you, that you, that you want to call a re-raise re with trying to see a flop, because you can be dominated so e easily. I mean, uh, Graham Smith's not to know what kind of shape he's in here, which is great shape. Yeah, but the thing is, he's just got new chips by doubling up, and he's just dumped a load off already. I mean, will he make a stand? If he goes all in here, I completely understand it. But Fraser is banking on Smith being good enough to understand what he's telling him. He doesn't Fra have the look of a man who's posing. He looks like he's really thinking about if yeah. he should try and, and gamble here. I, I mean, there's 80,000 in the pot already. Well, how much has he got left back? He'll have about uh, 70,000. I'll tell you what, that's an amazing play. I cannot believe Razor did that. The uh, quality. Well, he's obviously picked something up. I mean, I like him playing with his one. chips, we thought he was putting an act on, but he's obviously <laughs> trying to get a read, which was uh, accurate. Wow. And Ian Fraser with 204,000 now, and he's, he's really in that's the like pulling shot. a rabbit out of a hat. Uh, it just takes guts that I haven't got, to be honest with you, in that situation. I mean, he's got a figure. Graham Smith's got a bigger hand than what he's got, and um, he's going to go back over the top and go all in, but he didn't. But anyway, cool. next hand. And look at this. The reward right. for that gutsy play, you give him ice coin suited. Just give me me let you blow him. How's he going to play, Jess? Well, you've got a big hand. <laughs> Figured it out yet. Cool. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, do you know, Graham can make mm -hmm. a move here. Cool. All in. Yes, as well. He's got all in. Instant call. He fell into the Fraser trap. Uh, I mean, <laughs> and dominated. It's almost been ugly. I mean, bang, bang, like that. Even Fraser, he's just hung him out to dry. Well, if you look at that hand from the beginning, Fraser was laughing and away, sticking his hand to the web, acting really weak, limped in, called the five. An immediate all-in by Smith and an immediate call. I mean, don't, don't make any mistake here. Graham Smith, the machine, is a great player, but he has been tortured, and trussed, and that. buried. He's hit the coin to rub insult to injury, and uh, he's gonna, we're going to be losing him unless a nine comes here. But it just shows you if they did see a flop, it probably would have all gone in anyway. Yeah. So that's the one consolation he's got here. But he's looking at three cards in the deck. Otherwise, we're going to say bye to... Mr. Smith. No, close, but yeah. no. Thank you. Graham Smith following the others out the door in third. and I feel sorry for Graham Smith because I think he's played for Congratulations. Perfect. But um, not his day today, that's all. Yeah, he had nothing to work with. A bit disappointed. Um, I was card dead. I mean, we was, I was just eating nothing whatsoever. Tried to make a few moves, whenever I made a move, walked straight into something, into an hand straight away. So it was not going to be my day, the way the cards was falling for me. It was, uh, no, it was no good today whatsoever. Well, if you want to get to Asgard, you must topple Thor from his throne. The sirens have heralded the coming of new poker star Mike Ellis. Be in Warsaw. Yeah. But uh, he's done pretty good so far. But if he wants to be respected in this format, he must take down the man, the champion. 
the Razor Ian Fraser. And uh, yeah, this has been setting itself up all night. Up. Yeah, we've got the two uh, best players on the day. You can up, yeah. Good luck. Heads up and I'll, I think yeah, exactly. for an awesome That's battle there, Jesse. I really do. Stats-wise, there's not much in it. They've nearly level in chips. Uh, but as far as their styles go tonight... Well, Ian Fraser's slightly more aggressive. I mean, he's got a bet frequency of 45% compared to 31. He's won more hands. He's got less chips. But he has got the experience and the record in these formats is truly unbelievable. The best in the world. You know, obviously, we, we're going to see Phil Helmuth later on in this tournament. But everybody says when, when you open your mouth, Phil knows if you're strong or weak. Uh, Fraser does a lot of talking to people and listening to their voice. He doesn't he doesn't let on, but I think he's he's that same kind of judge. Well, 20,000 more. Well, I agree with that. Phil Helmuth, obviously, winning all the cool. bracelets. He has a fantastic player, but even in this format, I think he would struggle to overcome Fraser. Interesting here. We've got a pair of nines for Fraser, who's hit the straight draw as well. He raised from the big blind. He's been called, and... Uh, 30,000. I think he's going to get called here. Oh, that was reached deep there. Well, Ellis is looking at it. He's got four outs of the straight, or he could try and win the pot now. It's unlikely that his opponents hit the flop. Right. Right. And he's making a move. He, he was really in two minds there yeah. about whether to call, whether to raise, whether to fold. And uh, this is this is what I was saying about good players. Fifty thousand more. But realise he's not married to the pot. He could still get away with his re-raise. But if you're sitting in Fraser's shoes now, do you know your nines are good? Do you put your player, your opponent on a 10? This will tell us everything. If, if he thinks Ellis has a 10, he has to fold. Correct. If he doesn't think Ellis has a 10, he has to push all in. It's that simple, isn't it? It is. That, that's pretty much it. Worst ways, if he moves all in with the nines, can a weak 10 call him? And if a weak 10 does call him, he knows he's got four nine, uh, two other nines to hit to make a set. Or worst ways, an eight, which he, he thinks there's four live eights out there to make a straight. So he's looking at it. If I re-raise now, I've still got oh. six outs worse ways. He's yeah, gone all in. in! What a play. <laughs> what a play. Unbelievable. And obviously Ellis can't mm. call this. Unbelievable. And for poker players watching at home now, you must appreciate how good this play is. That's fantastic. And Ellis has got no decision here, but he's got to make it look like he's got some form of hand here. I, I, I wonder, Greg Fish. I mean, he cannot call. I mean, he's not beating anything anyway. He can't call for a gut shot straight draw. I mean, the odds are stacked against him. I mean, he doesn't know his king's live either. He double clutched before he made that raise. And but Fraser picked up on it immediately. I mean, that is. How much is the brilliant. extra going to be? Now it's going to come down to math, and says Ellis. Uh, right? he's, 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 he's worked out he's behind. He just doesn't know how far. He's not going to call in a million years. Well, he, he, can't. Knows the, he knows the money. Yeah. He can't, can't, cannot call. It, it's impo he would love to call, but it's absolutely impossible. How can he call for a middle pin? If he thinks he's <coughs> king's life. He thinks he's he got seven outs. If yeah. he thinks he's got seven outs. Uh, sorry, 161,000 more. Yeah, but how much has he got left? He's still got enough to play. Right. Has he done all this work for nothing? Because effectively, if he does this, this is total gambling. There's no skill in it at all, and uh, he would deserve to lose. A player of his capability, Jesse, of his standard, he should just wipe his mouth out and get on with the next hand. Yeah, he's getting he's getting five to two on the pot there, and he'd he'd he'd, uh, he'd need more than seven hours, wouldn't he? He's just that? realised um, one of the reasons that Fraser is the champion. He is read perfectly read perfectly. He knew he that his guy never had a 10, or even if he did, it couldn't withstand the, the re-raise all in. And Ian Fraser's uh, took the fast, chip lead now. He wasn't. <laughs> he said he's he looking fast, like yeah. the man again, isn't he? He is looking like the man. Poker, I mean, it's just a good way for me to get a buzz. I found out that I'm quite good at the game. You know, there's, there's thousands of us that are the same. Um, but for me, it's a, it's a good buzz. You know, I'll get the adrenaline rush through playing cards and I'm I've always sort of been um, messing around, gambling on horses, and, you know, not big stuff, but to suit my pocket, uh, horses, dogs, uh, motor race, anything, you know, to get the buzz, and I've, I've now got it through poker. So um, I don't gamble now, really, and uh, it saved me a lot of money, and plus winning a few good at the poker as well, added bonus. 
good news that we'll be seeing both these players in the tournament again no matter what happens. And uh, <laughs> they've both shown uh, enough oh. poison game for the final table for sure. And yep. No race. You're looking at a very high standard. This, there, this you know. one feels far from over. I think the blinds might end up sorting this web out. I just, I don't know. All right, we've got a nice 10 5 flop. Check. Um, Ellis has got a 10. 15,000. Unraised pre flop. So he doesn't put Fraser cool. on a nice. And he instant calls. He's, he's, he's got Fraser trapped a little bit here. Well, Will he and shut the, shut the faucet off? If he does well, that he has to now. He can't represent a nice now, so Check. Um, he's been called, so. 20,000. There's problems here. This is a small bet. Call. Cool. It's an instant call again. Fraser's fired once, he's fired twice. He'll have to fire three times it would have to, be to win. I, I don't I don't know if he can get I don't know if he can win with the third bullet. Well to be honest, he, I, 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 he can't. It seems rash. He can't, he can't. And Ellis can only check and call. Well Ellis Ellis a check. Because then he's keeping the pot small. Check. And if uh, Fraser bets then he could just call him down no matter. Unless he's all in then Could Fraser go all in here? I don't if think he does so. what he can. He thinks he's behind Fraser. He That's knows he's behind. So, um, yeah, but the thing is... 30,000. He knows he can't that he can't win unless he bluffs. That looks like a bet that wants to be called. Looks like a please call me bet, but he's going to get looked up. Call. Cool. We got 10? Yeah. Oh, dear. Fraser fired three times and Ellis called three times and that was a big switcheroo i'm definitely feeling confident at the moment i'm just off the back of a, of a big win in december um and i feel like i'm playing well so uh um yeah i'm, I'm, I'm going all out to win definitely thinking about mike ellis i mean you know he's, he's had a roller coaster ride already hasn't he jesse yes he has and uh he's he's got intestinal fortitude this mike ellis he's kept himself together and back in business and uh fraser's got ace nine now heads up huge cool. and he's slow playing this make no mistake that's a slow play right just changing yeah, right. just changing things up a little yeah, bit he's mixing Christian. it up now um because the fellas raises here just immediately move all in and the other advantage of it if he actually does hit then ellis won't give him credit for the hand he's got check check right well that's how he he played the uh that's what he was bluffing earlier. Oh, he's got his card, Fraser. And it's Ellis has a stab now. 20. His time's a little 20, bit off. 000. Now, Fraser could just call it, because it's a bit of a scary ball, but he could minimum raise it. He can make it 40 or 50 and find out right now. Cool. It's dangerous to call. I mean, there's a lot of draws out there. He's not to know that Ellis is drunk. Yeah, yeah. but his uh, he's opponent could easily have coin eight or 10 eight or uh, uh, unlikely a Jack King. But the thing is, um, Fraser's. Oh, well, that, that's I was going to say, by, by, by calling Greekfish, he's giving Ellis an opportunity to bluff so, again if he's correct. got a hand like this. So win some more chips, yeah. I mean, Ellis either wipes his mouth for 70,000 now, or he's got to make a continuation bet. Well, he's wiped okay. his mouth. So basically, effectively, he's just given the pot up because he knows his five highs beat. And uh, Fraser's thinking, what can I get out of him? He's hoping that he's got um, more than what he actually has. <laughs> he swiped his mouth. I like that. 30,000. Yeah, yeah. That's a good bet for Fraser. He uh, knows the coin's got a call in, you know, possibly it's No his. way! You're kidding me! I've seen this before. You are kidding me. Is it the minimum rise? Oh, he's dwelling up again, Jesse, what you said before. Look at him. His face, look at his expression. He's playing about with his chips. He doesn't believe. He's waited too long. But he, he just doesn't believe that Fraser has an ace. He does not believe it. Oh, Jesse. He's, he's left it too long, in my opinion. God, this would be a spectacular sort of race. I mean, it, it, it won't work. It won't what? Then you say that. No, it shouldn't work, really, no. He's left it too long. See, he had the right idea oh. in his mind, although he was wrong. And um, he dwelled too long. I mean, that's a serious tell. Get the ace. Really had trouble putting Fraser on a the hand there, didn't he? Put it yeah. this way, I wish you'd have passed last time and called this time. Yeah. Looking at the pie, there ain't that much in it. 
Fraser went down to about 200, but now he's back in spitting distance. Oh, it's, it's a great heads up match. I mean, and it's only going to get better as well now. Ellis has just woke up with a pair of jacks here. Huge, huge hand heads up. Cool. And he's. Oh, dear. We're going to have fireworks here, Jess. The ice coin suited for Fraser. Raise, well, there's, there's oh, it's going to be re raised here. Well, Ellis has to raise. There's 12 cards on the flop. He don't want to see an ace, king, or queen. He doesn't know that Fraser's got ace, queen here. So he must protect. He must protect. There, there is no argument for calling oh, a position there here. There isn't. Well, there's 12 cards he doesn't want to see on the flop. He's, something's bound to flop. Ace, king, or queen wise. And he's going to. Yeah, that's the. Fraser's going to immediately go all in as well. So I think this is it. It's going to come down to a coin flip. Fraser does have to be aware of Ace King. Fraser he? puts him anything less than Jacks. Cool. All in. Quick so call from Ian Fraser. Oh it's a straight dear, I race need to get here. Lucky, I think. Oh, man. Sooner or later, He's sooner delighted. or later, it had to happen. Greg Fish, they Fraser's, run into it. Fraser's delighted with this. He's delighted with this. It's like a coin flip. You know, as he hits his ace or his queen, he's going to go on and win this. <laughs> well, in fact, he's slightly outchipped, but I mean, it's, it's only 14,000, isn't it? There's 586,000 out of 600 in the pot. The winner of this one, you got to feel, is going to the semis. And there it is, Jesse. Is it the coin on the flop? But all spades, Jesse. Well, they're Red all spades. They're all spades. Spade. He's got the flush draw as well. Defending champion, excuse me, former champion, has gone to the front. Oh, dear. Any spade there, and Ellis has pulled this off. Ellis has been the man oh. in form of late. And there it is. Oh, dear. That's it. That's all over. Nice. We have a winner. I think you got me. I think so, yeah. What Check a match. Yeah. What a match. And Ellis has toppled a champion. He did have to reach into a bag to do it. Yeah, he's, he's got lucky a couple of times uh, tonight, Ellis, but um, he's a worthy win. He's played really well, and he's beat the best. Well, that was something. It seemed like the only thing that could end it was a coin flip. That's what it was. Fraser loved the flop, but the spade hit the flush on the turn, and Mike Ellis taking his form to the semis. Well, it was always going to come down to a coin flip with these two titans, wasn't it? Mike Ellis, congratulations. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, I mean, you was really, it was smooth sailing uh, the, the entire heat. Then you had a big back step when you got heads up with Ian Fraser. And what did you right. tell yourself? That's right. I mean, playing against Ian, um, you know, you've got to be on your top game. And uh, I had a sort of a marginal hand there. I had a draw, but, uh, you know, he put me all in. and He went all in, and, and I couldn't make the call. Um, but uh, I felt like I still had enough chips to, to play. I mean, it's a pretty good structure, uh, this event. There's you know, time to get back in after the, after the uh, back step. Um, and uh, luckily, I was able to do that. Ian, uh, commiserations. Uh, it, it, it seemed like from the beginning, you knew that Mike Ellis was going to be the problem at the table that was going to have to be solved. Um, I did actually tell Mike that I, I fancied it was going to be down to us two. Um, he's a very good player. You know, I played with him a little bit in the uh, WSOP. But I don't know if you was aware, I kept away from him early. You know, I put down some quite big hands for me, yeah. you know, to his raises uh, to keep away. And, um, you know, I wanted to play more around that side of the table. Got heads up and um, I'm completely gutted I lost. <laughs> but I did enjoy it, to be fair. It, it was a good game, wasn't it? It was, it was quality yeah. stuff. And, Mike, I, I believe this is your first time playing on TV in this form. It, that's right. You're, yeah. you're through yeah. to the semis yeah. now. Fantastic, uh, yeah. Continue the run? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully... Uh, Ian does well in the turbot. It's kind of mixed views. <laughs> kind of like to see him out of the way because he's a, he's a big danger in uh, you know any of these tournaments that he enters. And, well, uh, best of luck, Mike. I it is. Him, I wish him well anyway in the turbot because he, he's a great Thank player. You. Thank you. It's a pleasure playing. Thank you. It is Mike Ellis through to the semi-finals and he's sending notice by taking out a former champion. Who will he be joining there? Well, next time the current UK Open champion Andrew Feldman takes the table along with this tournament's resident roofer, third place from last year, Scott Fenton, here on the PartyPoker.net European Open 4.